Joss Whedon's Firefly was poised to be the next huge sci-fi series to change television. Unfortunately, those hopes were dashed after one incomplete season. Let's look back at the reasons why Firefly's lights went out. A small, loyal fan base. Like Joss Whedon's other shows, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel, Firefly developed a strong, dedicated fan base. Unfortunately, the fans weren't in great enough numbers to halt cancellation, despite letter-writing campaigns to keep it alive. Still, the show's abrupt ending shouldn't be surprising, considering what happened before it even began production. Marriage Trouble According to Business Insider, Fox's bigwigs had a problem with two of the characters, Zoe and Wash, being happily married. Fox told Whedon to nix their marriage or they'd nix the deal. Whedon revealed in the Firefly DVD commentary that he stuck to his guns, saying, then don't pick up the show, because in my show, these people are married. Ultimately, the execs backed down, and the show made it to the airwaves, but that didn't mean the troubles ended. Friday Night Fright Firefly was scheduled for Friday nights, better known among TV fans as the, quote, Friday Night Death Slot. Now, airing on Friday nights doesn't automatically predestine shows for early cancellation, unless that show airs on Fox. At over 30 television series, Fox has actually canceled more Friday night programs than any other network. Firefly had a death sentence right out of the gate. The episodes aired out of order. When Whedon conceived the show, he planned it as an episodic yet continuous story divided into hour-long chunks. The episodes needed to air in a specific order to make sense to viewers. Somehow this went over Fox execs' heads and each chapter of Firefly aired out of order on Fox. The pilot, which introduces the characters and plot of the entire venture, didn't air until the end of the show's run. The promos didn't capture the spirit of the show. Fox's ads, promos, and commercials for Firefly failed at properly conveying what the show was about or what it was in spirit. As producer Chris Buchanan said in the DVD commentary, the campaign suggested Firefly was a wacky genre comedy when it wasn't. And as author Amy Pascal wrote in Joss Whedon, the biography, viewers who would have loved the show were too alienated to watch it, and those who tuned in because of the promos were disappointed. Low ratings. With everything going against it, Firefly's bad ratings were unsurprising. On average, it attracted about 4.7 million viewers. While that's a huge number in and of itself, it's puny by network television standards. According to E! Online, Firefly finished at 98th place in the Nielsen ratings. The show itself was excellent, but Fox only cared about numbers and executive defense. Despite all the obstacles they placed before the show's success, the folks at Fox essentially played dumb when it came to Firefly's cancellation. Former Fox Entertainment president Gail Berman told the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette having to cancel it was very difficult. Must have been difficult, considering she was part of the decision-making process that led to the series episodes airing out of order and on Friday nights. At least fans eventually got some closure in the form of 2005's Serenity, the big motion picture follow-up to the series. That's better than some one-season wonders ever get. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know why you think we lost Firefly too early.